Welcome back. Well, March is Colon, Can Colon Cancer Awareness Month. It is a disease that is preventable and if detected early, treatable and beatable. Joining us is Dr. Renard Rawls, is a physician with Borland Groover Clinic, and Jan Pratt is a two-time colorectal cancer survivor and founder of March to Get Screened. Thank you both for being here. We appreciate you. Thanks for having us. Uh, Jan, let's talk a little Thanks. bit uh, about your story and then about this 5K coming up and why you're so passionate about it. Well, I was only 35 when I found out I had it, and um, my father had died of it when he was in his 50s. So even at that, I didn't know ahead of time to go get screened because nobody had said, if you've got a family member, you should go screen, get screened early. And I was having some a head cold that wouldn't go away, and I thought I had hemorrhoids and all this stuff. But when I was in the doctor's office, I said, my father had passed away, and I really think I should get screened. And it was right when Katie Couric was coming out, was on air and getting screened. Yeah. So there was a lot of publicity about it. But then it kind of died down, and then I went online, and there was nothing locally about colon cancer. And that's why after it reoccurred two years later and it went to my lung, mm. um, I realized that I needed to get out there and do something and get more people screened. So I decided to do the March to get screened and my first event there was just a few people that showed up and now it's grown into a, quite a big event and it starts um, on Sunday at 8 a.m. for pre-registers who so come out and register it's not too late and also um, the event starts at 9 you can walk run skip jump pop it's just all about celebrating your colon and getting it checked because screening seven saves years lives. Later, seven I know years later, it's you, great. You, you know and you, you took what happened to you you turned it into right. such a positive and trying to change the lives and save the lives of so many people who might find themselves susceptible to cancer or maybe with a diagnosis. Dr. Rawls, let's let's bring you into the uh, the conversation and talk a little bit about you say colon cancer is preventable, correct? Yeah, How do we prevent it? Now, there's no question uh, colorectal cancer is a major problem, major health care concern. Approximately 140,000 cases of colon cancer are diagnosed each year. It's the third most common cause of cancer in both men and women. Mm -hmm. And the second leading cause of cancer deaths, approximately 50,000 a year. Now, that's enough bad news. The good news is colon cancer is preventable. Uh, there's a simple exam, the colonoscopy examination. The screening exam can prevent colon cancer. So it is important for people at what age to come in and start getting these screenings? Does it depend, as you said, on your family history? Well, we usually start the screening process at age 50. Uh, we start screening at age 45 in African-American patients. If there's a family history of colon cancer, we start the screening process at age 40 or 10 years younger than the family member at the time of diagnosis, mm. okay. whichever age comes first. It gives you some good perspective. You yeah. said that you were experiencing some symptoms. You thought you had hemorrhoids. You right. weren't sure what was going on. What are some typical symptoms that people might be experiencing? And are there symptoms? Well, we may see abdominal pain, weight loss, thin caliber stool, what we call pencil thin stool, blood in the stool, of course, but these signs and symptoms usually occur in more advanced disease. Colon cancer is 90% 90% preventable in the early stages and that's why the colonoscopy screening examination and early detection is so important. So important. If you like he was saying if you get screened and you it's caught early, 90% curable. They can just burn it off right during the colonoscopy. So you go in, get it burned off and you're done. I mean, that's all it takes. So screening is the only screening for colon cancer is the only procedure for um can't that where you actually are getting diagnosed and you're actually getting the procedure to end it at the that's same right. time. And yeah. that's not true like for most times when you're getting screened. You're just getting screened and there's like all these other layers. Well with colon cancer it's a one-stop shop. You can get screened and right. get the procedure to get and, have, the, and have that peace of mind. Yes, yeah. it's a wonderful thing. Where does the money go that you raise for now your seventh year doing this? It's race? all about we're doing it's research and we're also doing um, screenings for people that can't afford it or are underinsured. So it's all goes back and it's also about awareness. We're trying to basically, I think the colon doesn't get enough attention. So I think people need to realize you need your colon, it's there, it works for you every day, and it's 
you need to get it screened at yeah, least. It's not, it's not the dinner conversation <laughs> that most people <laughs> like to have. There's, you know, have you done X, Y, and Z of recent? And we got to go very quickly, and we'll get into the nuts and bolts and how people can get involved in the race and right, how they right. can support your efforts. But very quickly, let's talk about the screening. Not a lot of people like doing it because they think right. about, like, really, of all things that I want to do, I really don't want to do that. But how bad is it nowadays as technology has evolved? It's a simple exam. Are you asleep? You, you sleep, well, we place an IV, sleep. you sleep, sleep through the entire exam, I promise. And once you're nice and sleepy, we take a thin scope with light and camera on the end, have a look throughout the entire colon. If we see any polyps. You get pictures of the insides, it's kind of nice. We give so you pictures. I don't need the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need the memento. We, I just need to know I'm in good health, right? If we see any polyps or precancerous growths, they are removed at that time, and this yeah. eliminates future risk of colon cancer. And and obviously a great thing, no pain or anything. No pain it. at all. No okay. pain. All right. and, and the prep is so much easier now. It's like way easier than it used to be. There you go. Well, thank so, you both for being here. Well, thanks Very for, for having us. Having Get screened, there everybody. You go. Get screened. And we'd come like out to, Sunday. And come out Sunday. And you can't come out Sunday and register the day of the event. But we first would like to thank the Borland Groover Clinic for sponsoring this segment. And for more information, you can go to borlandgroover.com. The uh, website is there on your screen. You can also call 904-398-7205. And remember that the 7th Annual March to get screened 5K is this Sunday at the Jacksonville Beach Pier. You can get event details on marchtogetscreened.com. That website is also on your screen as well. And also there's an after party at Lynch's. So oh, you left the good part out. There you go. There's an after party at Lynch's with Darren playing. So please come out. All so right. The weather's going to be great. That's right. That's so, so according to Steve, what he said earlier. Thank you both for Thank being you. here.